This is a video of a servo controller project that I'm working on. I'm going to be using EMGU CV, which is a C sharp wrapper around Open VC. I chose to use a Maestro micro contro servo controller. This cost about 20 bucks and I really kind of wanted to have uh, a separate module circuitry design. I didn't want to use the Raspberry Pi to control the servo with software. I wanted to use C Sharp and uh, this seem like a good alternative. You can also use it to control, uh, use it with Linux uh, and I assume Python. I'll be looking at that later but right now I just want to wrap my mind around the type of code that's going to have to get written to do things like track faces and track objects in real time and I'm a better at C sharp than I am at Python quite a bit better so I created 3d a couple of 3d models uh, to hold on to the servo uh, one or two servos here and I need to do a little bit more work on that I was using Cura and an ANET A8 3D printer and I was using SketchUp to do the 3D modeling. There's some different designs that are out there. I'm kind of a, you gotta show me. I can't really think about this stuff until I have it in my hands and I'm gonna refine the design. But first things first, I've got a little C-sharp application that can control the servos now and I'm going to be uh, linking that into the C-sharp code that can detect objects in a simple wind form. Anyway, that's all for now. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to download two zip files. In the previous uh, caption, I had the links uh, that you're going to need to get these files. The, the first file, zip file you're going to need is the Maestro Windows drivers. Uh, there's a link in the previous slide to this zip file. Once you open this zip file, you're going to see the MSI. You need to click that, install it. That's going to install the drivers for the USB and also the software that you can use, the Maestro Servo Controller, to test out your servos uh, and your device, servo controller device before anything happens. Uh, the other link is the uh, Polo USB SDK. Uh, these two files, uh, ignore them. It's going to look something like this, and you're going to have the Maestro uh, USC solution. And this is what I used to start uh, the example to see if I can control the servos with C sharp code. Later on I found out that there's another example that in the simple motor controller that doesn't work it compiles but it doesn't control the servos and it was this SMC example 2. Later on in the video you're gonna see how I took this added it to the other solution 
modified it so I could use it because it has a slider in it and it also has the USB event uh, catch for when you're uh, adding and removing USB devices and that was useful so anyway once you get these two blown up uh, once you get the uh, software installed then we will move on to uh, the next part of the video and you can see how to control the servos with C sharp okay uh, once you get your Pololu Maestro controller software installed and installs the USB drivers and you've got power to you can basically just hook your USB up to the board and you should be able to then go start programs and pull up the control center so this is the software that comes uh, and gets installed so you can kind of debug and see where your how your servos are working so right now I'm, I'm kind of you can't see it it's on the screen but I'm moving both servos around I had to enable uh, both of the servos before I could do anything and you'll see right up here it says connected to so uh, the, the concept that you need to kind of learn here is that the maestro controller is the device it's not the servos it's the device once you connect to the device then you can talk to your servos now I and you can get different maestros that have more server controllers or channels uh, if you will so anyway this this is kind of like the debug process of okay can I control my servos from the PC Windows PC uh, and, is, and is everything working correctly Okay, figured out how to get the resolution right. Anyway, when you load up the Maestro USC Microsoft Visual Studio solution, you can go to the top project. And let me plug this in here. Dude and you can run the example and basically what this will do is this will let you connect to your maestro serial controller device not the not the servo but the serial controller device and you can click on activate motion sequence and your servo should start moving around between uh, you know 90 degrees center then 180 degrees whatever it is and you do a stop and now you have a C sharp program WinForm program that can control your servo that's assuming you have a servo plugged into the first uh, set of pins right next to the power connector on your Maestro servo controller so uh, what I did in this project is I added the other uh, SMC example 2 that I liked that had code that dealt with uh, USB serial devices being uh, plugged and unplugged and it also had a slider uh, to control the servo. Uh, its problem was is it was using the SMC controller which I don't know what the difference is uh, but uh, the Maestro advanced controller worked. So I went into uh, this main window on the first I added uh, obviously added you know exist existing project added the SMC example 2 project to the solution 
and then I went in and I renamed uh, the main the namespace uh, in several different places programs the designer yada 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 you, you should know how to uh, change the namespaces around uh, to get the thing to compile now the uh, other thing I added was this private byte channel, which is, uh, this is really the servo one or servo zero that is connected to your maestro controller. Uh, I went through the code and wherever I saw uh, basically the UM uh, SMC, I changed it to a USC. And it, some of that, it basically seemed to work. So we have, this was SMC, now it's uh, USC, uh, and uh, things uh, would kind of work. I had to change some of the calls from this stop device to set target. And basically this code right here it comes from this maestro advanced example or the maestro easy example uh, whichever one so you basically have the servo you want to control and then you want to tell it to stop uh, that happens to be in the stop button we're not doing the resume button uh, anyway we can run this thing and you can see what it looks like so uh, as you can see right here it says it's connected if you unplug your maestro uh, from the USB you'll see disconnected. Uh, and you see it's connected back. I, I like that code. That's why I like this example. So disregard the SMC and you might as well just call it uh, USC. And then uh, as you would move the slider around, uh, the first servo that was hooked up would move. <coughs> so you can see that that's pretty cool got your scroll bar example so almost all this code is identical uh, to the original SMC uh, example except for change this to this and change uint uh, instead of int 16 to uint 16 and uh, commented this code out right here this is what originally uh, was in place and for uh, the code that's in this maestro easy uh, it goes from 4,000 to 8,000 to 6,000. So essentially it just uh, goes uh, wherever the scroll bar is sending it. So as you can see, you have this connect, standard stuff, uh, disconnect, and then this interesting you know, device. It's got a timer in this code, which is kind of neat. Updates the status. Uh, and then you're uh, basically if you can uh, USB uh, supports this notify you can register so the, I didn't have to write any of this I, I just looked at the code and said okay I like this I want this in, in uh, the uh, demo example so uh, that seemed to work real well the other thing I did was you go into your slider and you have to change the min max range and the default value and that seemed to do it and that's basically the end of this example this is enough code that I can use to uh, graft into the open CV uh, target, you know, ball face tracking code that I'm working on right now in C sharp. I realize there's billions of examples out there that do it in Python and they do it on Raspberry Pi. Uh, I just kind of want to know how to do it in C sharp, uh, as and simply because I have a bunch of C sharp C sharp code that does a whole lot of other things with facial recognition not just face uh, identification but facial recognition that I want to graft uh, or uh, merge into this servo code 
So essentially we're building something uh, with a camera that can look at your face and it can know who you are potentially and maybe send some of the information to Google Cloud so it knows it's talking to you and not anybody else. Anyway, that's it for this demo. Uh, subscribe and let me know what you think. Sorry about the earlier parts of this video uh, where the resolution wasn't right, but uh, I think I got it figured out now.